you have a big fight scene yes. with Chris Pine. Mm-hmm. Tell me about sort of working that out and the choreography. And obviously, you're a very big man. You're a lot yeah. bigger than Chris. What did you guys have to work out so yeah. Chris didn't get hurt? I mean, I think when we came to filming that scene, the, the primary thing from the fight directors was that we needed to make it believable that Chris Pine who's about 6'1", could take me, I'm like nearly 300 pounds and 6'6". Six, six. I'm like, geez, you know, how is this going to be believable? So we came up with a fight scene that would involve a bit of skill, strength, and a bit of luck for him to, to get the better of me. Um, so we rehearsed it for quite a few weeks before we shot, and then we shot it over two days in um, the Warner Brothers Studios in Leavesden in, in London. and. Um, I hope we did a great job. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it looks really cool. Uh, how much is Chris involved, or are you working with a stunt double? For I him worked as with well? Chris the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing. He wanted to get involved. I mean, in fact, unfortunately, he ended up with a broken finger in, because of you. Because of me. He, <laughs> in the scene, in the bit when he runs at me and we fall into the bath, um, he ran at me and we, I came at him, and we kind of locked fingers, and his finger kind of snapped back. He ended up with a, sp- a spiral fracture, which is one of the worst ones you can get. Yeah up your finger, which was really painful. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. Right, right, it, it right, was, I'm, I really do feel bad about it. It's one that, of the actually. casualties. I mean, it's, yeah. it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. And surprisingly, you know, that was like halfway through the second day. And he carried on right through to the Kept end of working. the day, you know, yeah, which yeah. is, I've got to give it to him. That's pretty tough. Uh, tell me about working with director Kenneth Branagh. And- Kenneth Branagh is great. I'm, I've got a great relationship with him. And he's um, a great director to work with. He's the kind of person that you want leading a ship because you know you're in a safe pair of hands. He knows what he wants, he knows what vision he wants to put on screen, and he gets it. And I think it's evident in the film. You know, the the, the, the pace, the mood, the colouring, everything is to such a high standard that, you know, you can you owe a lot of that to what he brings to a movie. Did you audition for him or did you just get the part or how did that work he, out? He knew he wanted me for the role for, for a while, so I met up with him and it was pretty much a done deal. Yeah, yeah. And there's a bit of, I don't want to give anything away, but there's a little covert a- action going on with your character. He kind of t- changes at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think, um, I don't want to give too much away, but I think you like, you know, you think this is an interesting new character at first. Right. And then maybe he's got a little bit of an agenda. So, um it was that was fun to play. I like playing a character that that changes or maybe has got something to hide. Um, I like interesting characters. If he was just a standard tough guy, it wouldn't be so fun to play. Um, so for me, it was a great it was a, it was great fun. Is it hard to play that? And obviously, you don't want to give away anything, but you know, and not the this movie is going to live on forever. An mm-hmm. audience is going to see it a second time. You want to sort of see that layer in the character later on. Is that hard to kind of layer it that way? Well, if you do the work properly and kind of do the research that you need to do to build a character, which I kind of approach everything with, regardless of what I'm doing, whether it's, you know, Cinderella or an action film or some Shakespeare, I think is the kind of thing um, that I always do. I do that research and build the character. So the layers are kind of, not easy, but it becomes easier the more work you do and the more prepared you are for a character. Were you familiar with the Jack Ryan franchise? Do you yeah, have a favorite of the films? I love Clear and Present Danger. Patriot. Clear and Present Danger is a good one. Yeah, I love that movie. I love that movie. And, you know, I grew up watching those movies. And for me, Harrison Ford is a great is a great actor and brought a lot of life to those movies. And I think Chris Pine is the perfect person for him to pass the baton on to. So great talking to you. So yeah, really good job in the film. All right, thanks, man. Thank you very much.